Hey, what's up, guys? New York Niles here with a little pack opening for you guys the search for the golden ticket. This isn't a live com, it was originally a live com, but parts of the audio kind of got cut out a little bit. I don't know, it was kind of glitchy, so just figured I'd talk over it, mute the background, talk over it. Get into our first pack here. We have a couple packs, uh, don't exactly remember how many we got, but. We don't leave now just because, you know, I never pull anything. I did pull a couple things, and I'm not going to tell you. I might have pulled the golden ticket, might have not. But at first pack, we didn't get much. Not that I saw anyway. I don't really remember because I wasn't looking at the screen when I was talking. I don't know why. But anyway, we have a few things here. My computer, since it's a MacBook Air, is running a little bit low on space. So what I did was I kind of deleted a couple things. They were pulls for my New York Niles Mutt account. And what basically I'll just tell you what I pulled. So I pulled a Drew Brees. And this is for this is from the solo challenge one. I pulled a Drew Brees and a 99 one star Warren Moon. So the Warren Moon is now my QB. I sold the Drew Brees. And uh oh and a Shane Leckler in that pack. I sold that too. And that allowed me to buy a bunch of other packs. And when I got in those packs, I got a Patrick Pearson, not a, you know, elite one or whatever, just a normal gold Patrick Pearson, a throwback Steelers uniform, another John Beeson, a Brent Grimes, and a David Stewart. That's all. Didn't feel like it was that important to show you guys. Didn't think it was, you know, a life or, uh, life or death situation that I show you that. Think it would be better just to sell it, because that's all I got, really. So, this is much more important, the search for the golden ticket. I have a video, my next video will be, you guys have been asking for some Mutt gameplay. So, it will be Mutt gameplay, it is not live comm though. I'm sorry, I forgot to record, or I didn't forget, I just didn't think to record the audio at first, and then it was already too late in the game to start then. So, I will be talking over it kind of stinks because the guy I played, I'm sure you guys would appreciate hearing his voice because you guys are used to hearing his voice. That's the only hint I'm going to tell you guys. So, pretty excited for that. It's going to take a while. It came out to like an hour like video with on editing, so I'm going to edit it down to like maybe 20 minutes, hopefully. Hopefully, because I know you guys don't like those longer videos. Maybe even shorter because I'm trying to edit out a lot of stuff. So, that's about it. And as always, follow me on Twitter, New York Niles Twenty Five. That is my Twitter account. I'd appreciate if you guys followed it. There's a Marshawn Lynch. I've never really seen that card. It's a, it's a cool looking card. Anyway, follow that to get updates on my channel. And I try to, you know, communicate with other commentators. Like I am on Golden Sports Friends List, and I am in almost every single one of his streams. I was in with him yesterday, but I played a game of zombies with him, Cold World 9, and I Try Hard Gamer, or Try Hard Gamer, and I did have a mic, but they didn't think I did, because they thought they were in game chat, but they were really in party chat, so I was sending them messages like crazy, he's, I think he said he's going to post that video, so... It's live com for him, obviously not for me, because they didn't see my mic, which is kind of unfortunate. There we go, pull the Namdi Asuma, that's a good one. And Jabrari Jab Greer, never seen that card before, so I'm going to keep hold on to that. But anyway, back to the Zombies game. We did pretty good, he's going to post that, it's a lot. This, I freaked out when I pulled it, because I thought it was a golden ticket. But it's a Kenny Vaccaro, who's projected to go in the 15th round, and I believe I'll make like 200,000 with that. So... That's definitely good, Paul. He is the best safety in the draft. So, if someone needs a safety early on, and their pick already got picked, he could go earlier. So this is a very good pull. I'm very excited with it. Definitely going to make some money on it. So, we'll see what happens then. I don't remember when the exact date of the draft is. Let me know in the comments, because I'm excited for that. And, as a, and oh, happy birthday to Mr. Golden Sports, and happy Easter. Not only is it Easter, it's also Mr. Golden Sports' birthday. Go over to his channel, wish him a happy birthday, send him a message, send him an Xbox message, comment, spam him with happy birthday. <laughs> I'm sure he'll appreciate it, or not. Sorry if you don't like the 
birthday spam, but I don't have that many subs anyway, so it can't be that much of a, uh, if he ever sees any of my videos, can't be that much of a hassle. So, there's that. The, it was kind of unfortunate, I was sending him party invites, party invites, messages, messages, party invites, if you see on the video. Kind of stinks that he didn't take that as a hint that I do have a mic. Because they do say later on in the video, I wish New York Niles had a mic because we would invite him. They didn't know that I did have a mic. Or they didn't say that I'd invite him because they thought I, they were in game chat. There's a second Steven Jackson I pulled, and I think that goes for a decent amount because it's in a collection. Oh, let me just readjust a little bit here. There you go. Sorry, guys. I had to readjust my positioning. So here, I buy an off-season pack with... Microsoft points that I had left over, which is always a good thing, definitely helps out, don't have to spend my coins, don't have to uh, sell anything, my dad, shout out to uh, Mr. Niles, was nice enough to give me $40 to buy Microsoft points for you guys, that was extremely nice of him, so gave me a bigger chance of pulling the golden ticket. And it also helped me pull that Kenny Vaccaro, which is a definite 20k, maybe even more, which is very exciting. I'm also, I really wish I didn't pull this many packs, because I was looking on the auction block, and there are projected draft people within the first, like, 10, going for, like, 30k, which you can make some insane money off of, but I don't have any coins left. Spent it all on packs for you guys, trying to get that golden ticket. And honestly, if I pulled it, I would most likely sell it immediately. Just absolutely immediately sell it. Because they put so many restrictions on that. And there's not, like, the card I would really want to make would be, like, a middle linebacker. Because that's, like, my weakest position, I feel like. Because my secondary's strong, my D-line's strong. But Ray Lewis is just, Ray Lewis is a beast. He's just kind of slow. So I'd make a Patrick Willis. I'd take a legendary two-star Patrick Willis and make it better, but like, even that, like, you can't make it that much better. They only give you a little bit to, like, to kind of go off of, so it's kind of annoying. But, whatever. So, i definitely sell it, because I feel like I get, can get way better things with the money. Maybe get some giveaways, but never know. Could pull it. Still don't know. And speaking of giveaways, I want to do a giveaway very soon. I just don't have any cards to give away. But, I have so many investments, like I have two fantasy fullbacks that go for like, the only fantasy fullback in the game, goes for like 20k, ooh there's a Steve Young playing center, who goes for like, what was, I, what was I saying, oh yeah, goes for like 20k, so that's a good investment. I have two free silver free safeties, those uh, Bengals, I don't remember what his name is, uh, Reggie Nelson I think, which go for like anywhere from 20 to 40k. I have a Elvis Dumerville right end, which could go pretty expensive. There's a MJD, kept that. I have... what else? I have a bunch of other things I just can't remember right now. I have a bunch of investments. A bunch of things that will go up in price, but not yet. So, hopefully that pays off. I don't know. I really hope it does. I want to get you guys some, uh, some giveaways. And I think we're getting into the next pack opening. Yes, we are. Here we go. Next pack. These packs I pulled a little bit later because I sold some things that I pulled. Quick sold that Tim Tebow. Things along that line. So I didn't get anything in those packs much except the Kenny Vaccaro. Got a Matt Prater. Not really sure how much that goes for. Matt Forte. Got two Matts. Actually, three Matts, including me. Except they spell their name wrong. I don't know what's wrong with them. What their mothers were thinking. That is not how you spell Matt. So we get right on into the other pack, and not much, trying to go through these kind of fast. The Carl Nix, that's kind of rare. I have a couple of those. I have like two or three of those. That's a, that's another investment, keeping on to that. I have a lot of cards that I'm keeping on to, holding on to, keeping on to. What the hell am I saying? Anyway, so that was very, oh, Chris Cluey, that's a good one too. I want to sell that when the this whole, you know, market crashing thing goes away. But that was pretty exciting playing Zombies with Golden Sports. I hope I have the opportunity to do that again. And of course with Cole World and Try Hard Gamer. Cole World 9 I believe is his YouTube. Obviously Mr. Golden Sports is his YouTube. And I don't remember I Try Hard's game uh, YouTube because it's really confusing. A lot of X's and lower cases and upper cases and all sorts of crazy things going on in there. 
Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that good shit, and have a nice day.